Hi all, I'll start this video with information about where the largest reserves of silver in the world are located. The leader in production is Peru with 3,600 tons, followed by Mexico 3,000 tons, China 2,600 tons, Chile 2,000 tons, Australia 1,800 tons, Poland 1,300 tons, USA 1,120 tons, Canada 800 tons. Silver, like its commodity cousin gold, has a rich history stretching back thousands of years. Silver was first mined about 5,000 years ago in Anatolia, what is now eastern Turkey. When Europeans came to the New World, they discovered an abundance of silver. From 1500 to 1800, the three Latin American countries of Peru, Bolivia, and Mexico accounted for more than 85% of global silver production. However, since then, silver has been discovered in various regions around the world and its mining has become a global industry. Silver has one important difference from gold. Only 20% of its production is the result of primary mining of the metal. Most of it is a byproduct obtained along with metals such as copper, lead, zinc, and gold. Although silver is mined all over the world today, Latin America continues to play a key role in the industry. In 2011, Mexico and Peru were the largest miners of the metal, with China taking third place. Peru remains the country with the largest in-ground silver reserves at 120,000 tons, followed by Poland and Australia, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. This country is at the center of the silver mining industry and has held this position for several centuries. Some analysts even call it the Saudi Arabia of silver, and they are right. Last year, Peru produced 110 million ounces of silver and is one of the few countries to increase its proven reserves of the metal over the past decade. U.S. investors have a couple of easy ways to invest in the Peruvian silver industry. First up is mining company Compañía de Minas Buenaventura S.A.A.D.R. You can also bid on the Peruvian silver industry using the iShares MSCI All Peru Cap Index Fund ETF. Buenaventura has the largest position in the fund at 17% and almost 60% of the fund's portfolio is invested in mining companies. doesn't usually come to mind when thinking about commodities, but it is abundant in coal, natural gas, copper, and even silver. Last year, Poland became the world's sixth largest miner of the white metal. It also has the second largest proven silver reserves in the world. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, this change in reserve estimates occurred recently following new information from the Polish government and silver industry sources. The world's largest silver mining company is also Polish, KGHM Polska meets SAKGHPF. It produced about 40.5 million ounces of silver last year. The company also mines a lot of copper and silver it is a byproduct of copper and zinc mining in large deposits in Lubin. Australia is a resource power with a reputation. The country is the world's fourth largest silver miner, producing 55.2 million ounces last year. Such volumes are especially impressive considering how it all began modestly near Adelaide, South Australia, in 1840, when the first lead and silver mine was opened. Most Australian silver is produced in highly mechanized lead, zinc, copper and gold mines. The world's second largest silver miner is Australian giant BHP Billiton ADR BHP. The company owns a silver lead mine in Carrington, northwest Queensland. 
This is the world's largest deposit focused on silver mining, with 32.17 million ounces of silver mined last year. Other silver hotspots in Australia include MTISA in Queensland, as well as the Mac Arthur River Field in the northern part of the Northern Territory. The country's other major silver producers include mining giant Extrata ADRX SROI and Min Metals Resources. I would also like to add that silver is the favorite metal of alchemists. Silver, like gold, does not react with oxygen under normal conditions. It is this property that allowed ancient researchers to classify the bright white metal as noble. However, hot silver can dissolve oxygen in itself, and much better than cold water. Heated to half its melting point, silver absorbs oxygen in a ratio of 1 to 5. That is, one cubic centimeter of precious metal can bind five cubic centimeters of oxygen. Liquid silver absorbs oxygen 20 times more than its volume. This property makes working with silver dangerous. As the molten silver solidifies, it releases excess dissolved gas. The release of oxygen is explosive. Splashes of hot metal fly out in large numbers and with force. Heated silver can combine with tritomic oxygen. The chemical activity of ozone leads to the appearance of small amounts of oxides Ag2O, Ag2O2 and Ag2O3. The amazing ability of silver to dissolve in mercury and at the same time resist the effects of many acids. In any case, aqua regia, a mixture of nitric and hydrochloric acids, which dissolves even gold, has no effect on silver. The secret is the formation of a chemically resistant layer of silver chloride on the surface of the metal, immersed in aqua regia. Silver is also resistant to alkalis. Because of this, silver salts do not dissolve in water, which, as is known, has an alkaline reaction. However, the human body, especially the brain, does not contain very little silver. However, with food we receive five times more silver than we leave on the balance of our own body. There is nothing to be surprised. For living nature, silver is poison. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked my video, please like and subscribe to the channel.